Hi there! In this video, we'll cover the basics of adding conditions to interactions in Axure RP. Let's create a login form that performs different actions based on the email and password that are entered. On the first page, we've added an email field and a password field, a button labeled Login, and a hidden error message that will show when the login fails. When the conditions succeed, we will go to page two, which has the text, thank you for logging in. Now let's build the successful login case that links to the second page. Select the login button and choose the click or tap open link option in the interactions pane. Select page two and click okay. Hover over the click event and click enable cases and then click add condition to open the condition builder dialog. Let's name the case successful login and click new condition. In the first field, you can choose from a variety of values, but we'll keep the text on widget option. Let's select the email field in the second dropdown. We'll also keep the third field set to equals and the fourth field set to text. Then type in hello at email.com in the final field on the right. Click new condition to add another condition. This time, we'll select the password field in the second dropdown and enter 1234 in the last field. You can use the summary at the bottom to make sure everything looks right. Notice there is an AND between the conditions, which means both have to be true for the case to be performed. If you want either to be true, you can choose match any and the AND will become an OR. Click OK to close the condition builder. Next. Let's create the incorrect login case. Hover over the click event and click add case. This time, name the new case incorrect login and click OK without adding any conditions. Notice that this case has the condition else if true. This means this case will be performed anytime the conditions on the first case are not met. Let's click the Add Action button and add an action that shows the error message when the email or password are not valid. Now that we have our conditions set up, let's preview to test it out. In the browser, if we can enter an incorrect email or password, clicking the Login button shows the error message. If we enter the correct email and the correct password, 1234, and click the Login button again, we're taken to page two of the prototype. Now you know how to add conditions to interactions in Axure RP. Thanks for watching and happy prototyping.